Timmy's got a glass bottom and our next guest has a glass jaw. Ooh. <sighs> Oh, the barbs have started already. Well, he is the man with an opinion on everything. And for the past two weeks, he's been spearheading a vendetta against Australia. The Pierce Morgan has lashed out the Aussie cricket team, Aussie fans, even our <laughs> Prime Minister, all because we won the first two Ashes tests. And, well, we've served it right back at him. He is, after all, the king of the Winger, a crybaby <laughs> and a flog. Oh, <laughs> Carlos. British broadcast, Sky News host and Fox News Late host with the most, Piers Morgan. Oh, I'm scared. Joins us now live from New York. Good evening, Piers. <laughs> Look what the cat's dragged in, eh? Did you call me a flog? Because let me I tell did. you, where I come from, where I come from, being flogged means being beaten like we've just beaten you lot Ooh. ahead of me, right? That's what a flogging is. So I don't care what you want, want to call me from your safe seat over there, Stavanovic. <laughs> we are flogging your team in this Ashes, and you know it. But you're not even there to see it, Piers. You're in New yeah. York. Come on, you're you talking tough game. <laughs> you know, it's very interesting. Carl's gone very quiet on my WhatsApp on my phone <laughs> for the first two tests. I couldn't get him off it, right? Yeah, ping, 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 <laughs> ping. Every two minutes. Oh, mate, it's going to win 5 0, 5 0. And you know what's happened? You went to Headingley. Mark Wood was brought back just when we need him. Yeah, yeah, and suddenly yeah, yeah. we discovered, rather like in 1932 33, Whoa. you don't like it up him. You don't like it up him. <laughs> a bit of proper speed, and you're melting away like the ice cap. I had to go back a few decades. Yeah, you had to go back to the body line. <laughs> um, our Prime Minister, though, basically said, Pierce, mm. uh, that you're not going to be allowed entry to Australia nope. again. Um, he met up with Rishi Sunak overnight. No, you said that. <laughs> you said that. He didn't. Correct the he record. He didn't say that. I'm sure the unofficial Prime friend... Minister. Of Australia. <laughs> My great friend, the Prime Minister of Australia, did not say that. You tried to lure him into a trap of banning me from Australia. But actually, here's my theory. Despite all your bluster, Savanovich, the yeah. truth is most decent Australian cricket Savanovich. fans agree with me. You lot broke the spirit of cricket oh, in that game. Blah, 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 and because blah. of that, you are now reaping the whirlwind of retribution <laughs> from Captain Stokes and his band of merry ashes winning men and we're going to beat you at Old Trafford we're going to beat you at the Oval we're going to win 3-2 and I'll be back on your show yeah. to gloat for hours you know what it's never going to happen i'm going to raise um, our our prime minister and your prime minister rishi sunak they had this uh, this meeting overnight this is Hi. what happened I, I'm sorry I didn't bring my sandpaper with me. Sure. Oh, right. <laughs> there's, there's a crease. We'll see. Right. Nah, it's very good. Awesome. Nah, I'm to enjoy that. Uh, Piers, how does it feel to have a PM who looks like a toothpick with eyes? <laughs> uh, well, let me explain to you. I'll tell you how it feels. That actually, most of the greatest batsmen in cricket history, as you should know, yes. Carl, have actually been quite diminutive in stature, including mm. the great Don including mm. Brian Lara, including <laughs> Sachin Tendulkar. If anything, our Prime Minister is a little bit too tall to be a cricket legend. So the problem <laughs> you have in Australia right now, you actually have you have a bunch of very tall, gangly bowlers uh. who've just been found out and are now going to get smacked all round England in the next two, two, three weeks until the urn comes home. Enjoy those onions. We cut, yeah, maybe we should. We cut up some onions the other day. Oh, good. Yeah, in Australia, they don't, they don't hurt your eyes. No, I mean, no. We're just so advanced mentally. Um, if you were in the long room the other, the other day, though, um, would you have called those old fuddy duddies into order? I didn't like that. I don't yeah, like yeah. that. Although I have to say, it did make me chuckle to see the collective outrage from the Australian media. How <laughs> dare cricket fans in England raise their voices and use bad language towards our cricket team? Because I remember being in Australia for the 2013-14 uh, Ashes when Brett Lee rearranged my rib cage. Oh, yeah, we've got some and vision I of that. Don't remember, mm. I don't remember the MCG being a, a quiet little mausoleum in late afternoon towards our players. So a little bit of perspective, I think, is required. However, for the record, I didn't like the behaviour of that because we, in England, obviously, are a more civilised people, yeah. generally, and it looked uncivilised. Oh, You're a classy man. Yeah, Pierce. just, just mm. on um, Brett Lee, I remember that very distinctly. Um, I think it was the first time I met you. Um, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. That, kind of that actually hurt me from here. <laughs> oh, you can still feel it. That My ribs not. just twinge. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what are you laughing at? You nearly killed me. <laughs> that makes you stronger. <laughs> All right. The you next... know, my sister, my yeah, sister, on. my sister rang me after that uh, yeah. in England because I was obviously with you. My sister <laughs> rang me from England in tears, and she said it was the nearest thing to a public stoning she'd ever watched. Yes, <laughs> well, she's not wrong. Well, we're kind of used to it, aren't we? Uh, the public stonings. Uh, look, if England lose <laughs> the Ashes, um, uh, I mean. It'll be catastrophic for your country. Yeah. I mean, you're out of the country. When are you back uh, in the old dart uh, to soak it all up? I will be back in time for the next test match at Old Trafford. Yeah. You have two hopes of winning at Old Trafford. No hope and Bob Hope. And Bob Hope, <laughs> rather like the Australian chances of winning the Ashes, is long dead. You boys had your chance. And when you had a chance to show the world you've moved on from Sandpaper Gate, what did you do? You dragged yourselves right back in the gutter. <sighs> you broke the spirit of cricket. You ran out Johnny Bairstow when you yeah. knew it hey, was wrong. Hey, we just did it right. And now you're, now you're reaping the punishment for that ghastly behaviour. It's and still 2-1, And I'm afraid one, right? when we get the urn, yeah. I'm going to kiss it live on air yeah, on beautiful. the Today Show, and it will be payback for Bairstow. Do you know what Bairstow... Bairstow looks like the dodgy uncle at an mm. Australian Christmas who you warn your kids to stay away from yeah, because he steals him. all their pies. <laughs> Well, at least he can catch a ball. I watched Alex Carey bottle that one. You see, this yeah, is the trouble. Bad. Your bottle's gone. <laughs> Carey's bottle's gone. Cummings' bottle's gone. Warner didn't oh. have a bottle to start with against Broad. Right, the truth is, you boys are on the run. We're on the march. Come Old Trafford, mm. it's going to be a war. We go to the Oval 2-2. Two -two. You know what happens at the Oval, because we all remember 2005. Boom, boom, boom. Back comes the urn. All right. You're Whatever makes you feel better. You're hedging your bets between the old dart um, and the US at the moment. Um, loving your show over there, uh, live from New York. Um, how's it all going? Yeah, I saw the other day you're trying it's... to teach the, the US people how to play cricket. I mean, that's not an easy I task. I did. I actually went on uh, live television yesterday. If I'll come and do it with your show. It was a breakfast show, big breakfast show here, Fox and Friends. I taught them how to play the game, both three deliveries two vicious bouncers and then a Yorker which hit the stumps. Pretty much a perfect, <laughs> a perfect warm-up for what's coming it. your way at Old Trafford. <laughs> so it was like a little template, really. All right, I love your work, Pierce. Um, go well, not too well. And I look forward to t uh, speaking with you next week. <laughs> Good to see They're you, They're coming home, Stavanovic, no, and you won't. know it. You know <laughs> it. Whatever, mate. Whatever. It's just Get your blubbing going, buddy. Carlos. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back. I'll just think of something. Yeah, it'll take him a while. We'll check back in with you. Uh, Thank you, brother. Whenever he comes up with Give us. Give him a couple of hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Safe travels, my man. Safe <laughs> travels. Hey there, today fans. Sarah and. <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?